Greetings, hi, the war Al greets you, and welcome to another Strat Talk. This is the show where we talk about strategies for the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This time it will be from Titan versus Mouse Sports here. Now, this is a very significant round. I just want to sort of show you guys here that things don't always go as you're expecting them to. This is a perfect example of that. At this point, Mouse Sports just won two rounds in a row. They've finally broken the momentum of Titan, and it looks like they're starting to get back on good footing. They have two Oppers. They're so far ahead economically. Titan is forced to save. They have two Eagles, two P250s, and that's it. So we're going to let the auto director run here. And then we're going to go back, check out exactly what happened. This round makes absolutely no sense. And as you see, terrorists have already taken bomb site A, plant the bomb, and now it's a three-person retake, which is still very doable, especially considering none of the Titan players have um, armor and helmet. They're easy kills. So what the heck happened? How is Titan able to do this? Check this out. Smiths just took out Nookie. Existence taking out Spidey. It's just Tabson left. One versus five. He's got to ace it with an AWP against a bunch of saving players. And he's forced to run away. How did this... I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Titan was able to take the bomb site, kill pretty much all of Mouse Sports players. The only person left is one of these rotators, Tabson, who's running for his life now. Finally goes down. And that puts Titan at 15 points, match point, setting themselves up for the win. So it was the absolutely critical round. Let's go back and figure out exactly what happened. All right, here we are at the start. And we're going to check out the economy. They're able to save one of these ops, so they're able to do a double op here on CT side. But they did, of course, make some sort of fatal mistake. I mean, how is Titan able to move in there? You can't just say, Mouse Sword's so bad, troll the lol the lol, because they're not. They're an incredibly good team. Titan, of course, a great team as well. Um, one of the top rated teams. And it's true that Titan's individual shots in this were just absolutely amazing. However, this most definitely could have been avoided um, with some intel, with some strategy. So that's what we're going to look at here. So at the start of it, we see a full save from Titan. They're just going to buy a few pistols. This is the first time their economy has been broken um, in this half. So Mouse Sports finally has the advantage. All right, and now... As you see, Titan is already splitting off. They're sending two players over B-side. Actually, Existence coming over here to A. So just one player to run into B. And the Mouse Sports probably knows that Titan is going to be saving. So they want to set up uh, for these Pistolers. Generally, on a save round, Pistolers are going to rush into B um, or rush into A. Or what they did eventually, they just rushed short A. So how is this avoidable? I believe... Um, if we can look at middle here, it's avoidable by looking down middle and seeing if they're going to be going short A. And most of the time, you're going to leave an opper in this sort of a position um, where you can watch short. You can even move him a little bit more back. Watch here. So you can watch Xbox or watch here as they jump by. Uh, and that, of course, is just to get um, vision. As you saw, those terrorists jumped by. So now Titan is going to get mid control. However, we check this out. Terrorists have both of their players inside of B. Nobody middle. Tabson going to be watching this with an op. And uh, Nookie just sort of chilling. Not really sure what he's doing. He's going to be playing middle uh, from window. So what they're trying to do here, if we can pause it, is set up a crossfire at middle so that if they assume Titan's going to run through middle, they're going to get destroyed. So here's Legja, or Legya, going to be watching here as well. So you see, this is actually a, a excellent setup if they know they're pushing through middle. So check this out. We got Nookie. Uh, let's get on... Where is he? Oh, yeah. Here we are. So, Nookie here. Legia here. Perfect crossfire. If terrorists push middle, that is deadly. And they're smoking it off as well. What they don't know is that terrorists are going to be pushing short. So, who's there to deal with that? Legia is the player from CT to deal with that. But normally, you're going to stick an opera at car as well. Here's the opera who should be at car, Chris J. We have Chris J and Spidey over here at a long A. Chris J sort of in a standard position. Spidey sort of lurking around the corner in, in case they push. They could have used one of these players to watch short A. This left a huge opening in the defenses of Mouse Sports. No intel down middle. No intel on short. Nobody watching short. So these terrorists can just sort of run through here. And at this point, Legia should have heard it, should have called it. And there should have been a mass rotate to deal with it. So here's Chris J. Should at this point here, they're all going short. They are walking, but we hear a few of them making some steps. So they do know. And at this point, both counter-terrorists are in a uh, position to engage. 
Leg Yao uses his time. Instead of trying to shoot the headshots, there's some headshot spots that he could have been shooting here uh, from CT. As you see all these heads visible, he uses his time to throw the Molotov, and it's a smart Molotov, but it's not going to help him in this situation. The point of this Molotov is to take out this little uh, um, position back here where the terrorists generally are going to run over and um, try to survive. If a terrorist is flashed while running up here at short, they're going to run into that corner more than likely. So throwing that Molotov there is critical. However, there was no flash thrown from Mouse Sports. No flash to prevent these players from just running short A. They already have position inside of the site. So difficult to deal with it. We have Chris J here with an AWP. Um, but you're gonna need an opper with some just like superb skills. Chris J is one of those guys, but he just drops the ball here as well. He's missing shots. Finally goes down, and now Legia and Chris J, the two players who were supposed to watch that, are down. Spidey over here at long this whole time actually was um, while it was going on, focusing on long because generally Titan you're gonna split. I mean normally rounds you're gonna split one player gonna go long, but they just full rushed at short A, able to take it. That Molotov did one point of damage to one guy. It was of absolutely no effect because there was no flash along with it. Nothing to slow down Titan. They were able to just waltz in here. So Titan's strategy of let's run short A. It's a simple strategy. Titan is known for doing these sorts of things on pistol rounds. That's another thing. Mouse Sports should have been aware that Titan does this sort of a strategy. I mean, they set up sort of the, I mean, run into B or run long A. They set up for that, but they didn't at all have any intel on middle. It just shows you how much intel um, affects this game. So if they had one player where Nookie is looking up middle like this, he's still looking here, though. If you just had one player here and able to get intel of, oh, they have mid control, watch your short, be careful. Or if the player at CT was able to call, hey, they're coming short and they're able to rotate fast enough, they may have been able to avoid this disaster. In fact, they should have because there's a bunch of pistolers. Also, not throwing the proper nades, smokes and flashes and stuff when the terrorists are pushing into the site. Terrorists don't have anything. They don't have any smokes or flashes. They just walked into the site. And that, that is something that shouldn't happen. However, Titan did just superb pistol shots here. They were able to take out full full buying players with two ops and M4s with two deagles, two P250s, and a Glock. So let's get on the Glock kill here. I want to see it. For some reason, the Glock is invisible. Oh, because he had the bomb out. All right, so here he goes. And I know that Existence gets one of these kills. This is crazy. He's got a, a player at long A with an M4 and armor and helmet. He's engaging with a Glock. He's got nothing. Look at this. Egg oh, that was actually Smiths who took it. There it is. There it is. Excellent job. Just some brilliant shooting from Titan. This shows that in certain situations, just raw skill, which Titan has a lot of on their team, can make the difference and, and can really win a round. This round's so crucial. Put Titan in a position to just... Outright win the game against Mount Sports. Mount Sports mounted a good defense after this, but it wasn't enough to hold them off. It wasn't enough to push it into an overtime. As we saw, they were a little bit behind at that point as well. So, hope you guys learned something. Thank you very much for watching. I guess the lesson to learn from this is always make sure you're accounting for all of the possible options that your opponent is doing. Just make sure you get that intel all around the map. So if they do something silly like that, which is a full-out rush, no flash, no smoke, no nothing, you're going to be in a position to deal with it. So, yeah. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.